Oh my goodness, we've set a trend here. There's actually two winners again. So let us read out both winners. The first one is Captain Mona Shindy. And the second, Katerina Carroll. Ladies and gentlemen, how good is this? <laughs> it is my great privilege to be recognised in this incredible way tonight. Accompanied by Australian Defence Force leaders and my gorgeous son, I cannot imagine a sweeter or more appropriate backdrop to, the, to me receiving this wonderful award. In the defence leaders, I see an unwavering commitment to creating highly capable, first-class fighting forces and military businesses, valuing all contributions, understanding that embracing diversity in thought and perspectives delivers superior organisational outcomes. And in my son... In my beautiful son, I see Australia's future. I see the purpose. <laughs> I see the purpose for both my professional and personal passion and aspirations. I am driven to do everything I can to influence organisational outcomes and community, community attitudes in such a way that youngsters like him, his sisters and all our children through embracing technological advancements and through the pro promotion of cohesive community structures have brighter and happier lives. Since winning the New South Wales Telstra Businesswoman State Award, I have noticed, but not been surprised by, the extensive interest, commentary and focus on the fact that I happen to be a successful Muslim woman, in, partic in a particularly particularly male-dominated profession and industry. This current reality makes me even more determined to work for a world where we don't look at things like religion, gender, or any form of difference for that matter. Where, where we don't look at any form of difference in such a way that that is what defines a person, and for many people still, all that defines that person. Through education, the sharing of knowledge, among people, inquisitive engagement and innovation, I enjoy challenging long-standing paradigms of thought and understanding. I love inspiring people, both professionally and culturally, to learn and work for a better tomorrow. Whether it is affecting necessary change in business to assure success or influencing community attitudes where challenges are not well understood, I love being at the forefront of transformational renewal. It is interesting how all of us, to varying degrees, can allow the conditioning of a prevailing narrative, unconscious bias or groupthink, often informed by misconceptions or deficient information, to influence our, our professional outlook. And from a social community perspective, our understanding of people's ability, compatibility, motivations, and right to belonging. Through leadership by example, frank two-way communications, taking the time to understand what motivates and concerns others, I enjoy leading human journeys and showing communities through their own talents how to improve a status quo. I'm always delighted watching people discover and ex exploit new learnings 
to solve complex challenges previously thought to be insurmountable. Different individual perspectives allow us to solve the right problems as part of strong, creative, satisfied teams and communities. I hope by overtly straddling and influencing communities, helping people to see others for who they really are, I can continue to, in, to challenge entrenched attitudes to difference and to be part of the leadership that navigates the ongoing maturing and growth of organisations and more holistically, the entire nation to create strong pride in the idea of a, a shared national identity. I am delighted to have received this award tonight and hope that it will help me continue to achieve important professional community, professional and community outcomes that build an even better Australia. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It must be that women in uniform thing, hey? Women in uniform. <laughs> That's the next song. Can I thank you sincerely? Now, I've got to tell you, it's nerve-wracking talking in front of a 1,000 people, but I've got to tell you, it's not as nerve-wracking as telling the Secret Service I had a very different security package for the president than they had in mind. So, <laughs> so can I sincerely... Thank you. Can I congratulate all the finalists and award winners? It's been an absolute pleasure to getting to know you, learning about you, but most importantly, to actually learn from you, and that will actually continue in the years to come. You know, really, I'm actually quite a rare specimen, and whilst that might seem funny, female police commissioners are extraordinarily rare, but female fire and emergency services commissioners, much more so. So this award is really quite important to highlight that issue, but even more importantly, though, to make sure that we, but I in particular, do something about this. And my vision, as I've stated a number of times, is really to see that what I have achieved is not the exception for women in this role, but actually the norm. Whilst there have been many challenges and obstacles along the way, my career has been exceptionally fulfilling and rewarding. Those challenges have made me who I am today. There are many people who I should thank for what I have achieved, and it's difficult in the short time that we have. I do want to mention a couple, though, men in my life who played a huge part of my professional and personal life. The Commissioner of Police in Queensland, who had great confidence in me to take on the largest peacetime operation in Australia's history. Whilst I believe he had a lot more confidence than I did, I'm glad he made that decision. I thank him for it. I seized the opportunity, and that opportunity changed my life. To my husband, Michael, who's always supported me in my career, even more so, he actually pushed me to take on those difficult and tough roles. To my young children, who understand why mum wasn't at the craft day, which went all day last week. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks, my darling children. I know you're proud of mum as much as I am proud of you. And they're in watching in Brisbane, um, obviously, in YouTube. Love you both, Connor and Martine. So all of those who have supported me and helped me along the way in this wonderful career and life of mine, this is also a reward for you for the recognition of the part that you play in what I have achieved to date. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>